My name is Silver. I'm the co-founder of Teleport. We help people figure out where to live and then we help them to get there. We have a total of 18 people working across seven countries at the moment. That last number varies, of course, as we're all free to choose where to live and every few months a few of us change locations. In July we had a, our first team retreat on Sarama. It's a beautiful Estonian island in the Baltic Sea. We invited everyone, including their families. We organize retreats because we think they're essential for a remote team. It's much easier to build relationships in the real world and then maintain them online. So I think retreats work well to, to help build and update those human connections that we sort of miss out on with all, all, all of the work online. I love traveling. I have lived in six countries. This is my sixth country. I am originally from Guatemala and I'm currently living in Thailand, Estonia. I never understood why you have to be in office at the same time and you have to live at the same time. In fact, I don't believe that you are productive in that way. What we believe in is that it doesn't matter really your physical location. What matters is that working together at the same time is like I have the time also to enjoy with my family. I have two children. And one of the reasons that I actually decided to move to Teleport from my previous job in Skype is that I wanted the flexibility to be with them. So I organized my life around my personal choices, right? I just try to merge in the best way both my private life and my Teleport life. My name is Joel Gascoigne. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Buffer. Uh, but we all work uh, spread all across the world. So right now we came, came together to be together for one and a half weeks in Iceland. Uh, right now the Buffer team is 36 people, I think. Uh, we're spread across 23 or 24 different cities. You kind of have that full spectrum of digital nomad where like maybe people travel for several months in a new place. Some people are just fixed in one location. Other people are traveling like every couple of weeks. I think for us, probably one of the biggest challenges is truly knowing somebody, knowing their personality. It's also why we have regular retreats every six months. We all come together in one place in the world and spend a week and a half together. You can almost hear their voice when you read the emails or the text-based chat after the retreat. And so that's why we found like it has to be a combination. We've got to come together regularly, um, and, but it's, there's benefits like, you know, it's really great to work in a remotely in a distributed way as well. Like often I will um, go out to meet friends at rush hour for drinks, like they'll get together at 5 or 6 p.m. after work and I'll find myself stuck in traffic and I'm like, what's happening? I totally forget that everyone else in the world is like commuting and it's a totally normal experience. You know, the San Francisco startup ethos of having this great office with like, you know, wine fridges and ping pong tables, like I can totally understand how people are doing the best that they can to create that office environment that's really enticing and really fun to be in and you want to hang around the office. Um, and every time I go visit someone's fancy startup office, I'm like, oh yeah, this is really fun. Um, it would be fun to, to visit for a while. I, I, I don't think I would want to stay. Like there's no better office for me than, than at home or wherever I want to be. <laughs> I think once you've had that freedom that remote work brings and had that different experience, a whole different way of working, that feeling of productivity, I think that going back to, to traditional work might be hard. It might not feel as, as fun or as happy for me as, uh, as remote work does at Buffer. <laughs>